So sound baths and sound massage. Don't those sound like great things? And they definitely are. So I wanted to talk about those both today, sound bath and sound massage. And if you have never heard of either of these, probably not surprising, but if you ever have the chance to experience either of these, a sound bath, a live sound bath, or a sound massage, I think you should definitely give it a try. Now, I'm the type of person that I really like to try new things, and I'll try anything once. And so I have experienced both of these. And if you live in Kirksville, where I live, I have exciting news about where you can get a sound massage here in town. So um, I'm going to talk about that um, as well. So a sound bath is meant to be very relaxing and very meditative. And essentially what happens is you go in, it's usually in a yoga studio type space, and the leader of the sound bath, you'll see, will have a big setup of chimes, singing bowls, a gong, perhaps maybe some drums, and you will, you can sit, but typically you recline in a supported Shavasana. So you're laying flat, but you can use props and blankets so that you're really comfortable throughout the experience because you want to really be able to have the body not holding tension and tightness so that you can fully experience the relaxing, meditative part of the sound bath. And then in the sound bath, the person leading and um, doing the class or the session plays the bowls and the gongs and the chimes and the drums in you know, the way that they intend to. And you lying there will feel the wave, the sound waves going over you, bathing you right in that experience. And you really can, and that's why I say a live sound bath versus um, a recording. Recordings are great too, but when you can experience it live and you really feel those waves washing over your body, it's really cool. And it's as if you're not just hearing the sounds, but that your body is also feeling and experiencing the sound as well. And sometimes they will, you may also hear that the singing bowls are tuned for each of the seven chakras. So sometimes you might hear about a sound bath to balance out your chakras. And so that's kind of what they're talking about. But it's definitely based in this idea. And in my experience, it's a reality that the sound waves going over you and kind of through you is very relaxing and can help you release some tightness, release tension, and can really help you have a successful meditation as well. A lot of times I think people struggle with meditation, rightfully so. It's a practice just like any. But a sound bath I find really easy to keep coming back into the meditation because it's easier to kind of focus on that feeling of the sound waves. So a sound massage. This was a newer idea to me um, this year. It's similar in the sense that it's going to use um, sound waves as um, sort of the, the impetus for the the release instead of um, a masseuse's hands, right? Needing instead, it's going to be sound, sort of doing the work. And you are fully clothed, so you want to make sure if you're going to go to a sound massage that you're wearing comfortable clothes that also don't have any metal or zippers or you know, anything kind of like that that a might get uncomfortable or be metal where the a practitioner might want to put a bowl, that type of thing. So, you know, comfortable 
yoga fitting clothes, right? <laughs> That's what I wore. I wore my yoga clothes, no surprise. Um, and it worked great. So you're fully clothed. And what they will do is usually what you will find when you arrive. So I have this picture up already of you see a singing bowl that is on a pedestal. So there's going to be some bowls that are strategically placed around you. And so you can see in these pictures that there are some bowls kind of strategically placed, I think based on your meridians, around the massage table. And then throughout the massage, there's different things that happen. So using like a felt mallet, the masseuse will hit the singing bowls in various locations all around the table. So you're going to have that experience of those sound waves from those bowls going over you as the massage continues. And then they may also, I'm just going to continue to give you a few other pictures here that I took before my sound massage. They may also place the bowls directly on you. So for example, on your, the sole of your foot when you're face down, and then they will hit that singing bowl and you will feel then that vibration from the bowl even more intensely, right? Because it's touching you and it's really cool because then it's it's even more intense, like going up the body. And what I really liked um, was not only were the bowls placed on different parts of the body, moved kind of up and down the leg, on the back, on the arms, but not only did they um, did she just hit the bowl, but then they could, she could swirl it as if she was really penetrating the sound into the bottom of the bowl. And so it went even more directly and intensely into that area of the body. And I could feel it even more um, sending that vibration through not just that area of the body, but then as it kind of resonated all the way through. And the idea is, right, that these sound waves going over the body and into the body help the body release tension, maybe some excess or negative energy that might be trapped in the body. And just like in a regular table massage, you do flip over halfway through, and so you get sort of both sides. And... Um, there are usually options if you want to do a full hour, if, and that's you know both sides, that's what I did. I had um, that experience. There's also potentially shorter massages that you could do. Maybe one of those chakra balancing uh, massages that may not include the bowls necessarily on your body, but strategically placed around. I've seen that. Um, maybe a 30 minute. So sound bath, sound massage. Definitely recommend that you try these if you're ever in a location that has them. Um, if you're visiting somewhere and you see the local yoga studio is advertising a live sound bath, go. You need to try this out at least once if you have the chance. And Sound massage, again, this was newer to me. I'm not saying it's a newer thing. I just didn't know about it as much as the sound bath I had heard more about. But in Kirksville, you now can get a sound massage here in town at Rejuvenate Wellness Center with Ashley Sparks. And um, she, I believe, calls it a sound sonic massage. So if you go to their... Um, the web page, which I believe I am posting now. Hopefully it will come up here. There you go. Um, that's her website and you can book from there. And so you want to look for Sonic Massage. 
um, sound sonic massage and give that a whirl um, and see what you think. And again, I'm the type of person that I like trying new things. So I definitely um, heard she was doing this training and said, I definitely want to get it in and give it a try because I love sound baths so much. And I was not disappointed. It was very cool and was a unique experience to not just be able to hear the singing bowls, but to also then have them on the body and feel that sensation too with sound. So I hope that's something that is interesting and cool. Additionally, I am planning to announce something really big to just my email subscribers this week. So if you are not on my email list, you want to make sure you get on there because Everybody else won't know for quite a while after. So just my email subscribers are going to be in on something here this week. Um, that's really exciting. Um, so if you're not on, you can shoot me a message. I can get you into the list that way. Or you can go to bit.ly slash yoga with TG email. Should be pretty easy to... Um, remember, but I'll put it across the screen here as well. So get, get thee to a sound bath or try out this sonic massage. And if you do, I would love to hear what you think. I love to compare um, your experiences to my experiences and talk to other people about this kind of thing and what they thought. So let me know what you think. And um, until next time, have a great one.